So welcome to this video where we're going to have a look at the difference between the sidereal period and the synodic period. And we're going to use the Earth-Moon system as an example, or more specifically, the orbit of the Moon. So let's start with the sidereal period. Now for the Moon, it's about 27.3 days, and it's one full orbit around the Earth. So it goes all the way around its orbit and comes back to the same position as it started at, so 360 degrees all the way around. Now, if we're to look from Earth, we can find how long that would be by looking at the background stars. So if the moon comes to the same position with respect to the same background stars that it started out as, we can get an idea for how long it's taken to go all the way around. So we, that's how we can figure out when it's back to that same position again. Now, the other period is the synodic period. Now, this is actually longer by about two days than the sidereal period. It's longer than 360 degrees, so it goes all the way around, and then it goes around a little bit more. Now, the reason for that is it relates to the lunar cycle. So if you look at the moon and time it from each new moon to the next new moon, you get about well, just over 29 days. So it's longer than that sidereal period. Now, why is the lunar cycle longer than the orbital period to get back to the same position? decided why is it longer than that other period well, what we have to bear in mind is that the earth is orbiting the sun and the moon is in orbiting the earth so as the earth goes for a little bit further around on its orbit during that essentially a month's time for the moon to, to do one orbital period to get the same configuration of the sun moon earth which would give us our lunar cycle it's got to go around a little bit longer. So it's, it's gone all the way around, but to get that same configuration again, it's got to go a little bit further so we get that next new moon. So that's why it's longer than the sidereal period because the, the actual Earth is on an orbit around the Sun as well. And in order to get that same configuration, it's got a bit further to go. Now, you get the same with other moons as well. So other moons, other objects have synodic and sidereal periods as well. This is just two examples of Jupiter's moons here. So it's not just confined to the moon, our moon around the Earth. Other objects will have this as well. And that's just the two, the main difference between the two periods. So thank you for watching.